Hey guys, Kills of Frills here, and we're back again with some more Project Zomboid, where we follow Dixon Nass with his journey through the zombie apocalypse. For those of you who don't know, I'll run over it quickly. Dixon Nass has schizophrenia. We're using the schizophrenia mod. It adds all sorts of things to the game to make it complicated from hearing things to seeing things. Um, he has random freakouts whenever he feels like it. It just kind of happens. Now, we walk from Riverside over there all the way to Louisville. Over here. We're now in the outskirts of Louisville in the checkout base. We've got it kind of secure right now. We're doing all right. I was going to take out the graveyard area today where I wanted to live, but I realized that we're actually having a food shortage issue, and I want to fish. Now, when I first came in here, we passed this area here. Now, there is some black buildings down here, and I don't know. These are industrial buildings by the looks of it over here on the little thing here. There's a mod that tells me what they are. Uh, these are industrial buildings, so I'm thinking like we come out the checkpoint area. I think the exit's like here, and we have a look. <clears throat> so we've murdered everybody north. We barely touch anybody to the south, to be fair. I mean, I could, oh, damn it. I, I could figure out how to use gates would be absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, we murdered everybody to the north. We barely touched anybody to the south. We have killed a lot, but I don't think it's enough. So I feel like we head out the south entrance... And we go from there. Oh, there's another generator there. It's literally right there. Wow. No fuel. Okay, well, I mean, that's two generators we got now. We know how to use generators, but we haven't got any fuel. So we head out this barrier here, and we conquer the south area a little bit. I know it's full of zombies. Hopefully, they've all sodded off since then, and with my gun shooting, they've all migrated elsewhere. Loads of you are wondering why I'm going down to these industrial buildings. I'm kind of hoping I'll find a sledgehammer. If I can find a sledgehammer, I can rip down the fence, build myself the little zombie barricade that I've got, and then I can fish in peace, although I don't actually have any fishing equipment, which is, I've only just realised, might not actually work now. Ah, damn it. It'd be nice if we actually had a car on this side. If it doesn't work and there's nothing down here or we get pushed back by the zombies, then... At least we can try and, I don't know, jump in the van, go up towards Louisville, and then maybe go from there to try and get into somewhere. Alright, well, it looks like zombie killing's going to start. I think I'm heading in the right direction for the whatever place that is. Oh, oh God, this axe is a beast. Fire iron axe. It's, uh, it does a crap ton of damage, but it's weak. Like, as in durability, not so good, but the damage it does per zombie strike is pretty damn hot. So, oh, there's quite a few here. I feel like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I seriously was not looking. Right, concentrate, concentrate. There's enough talking. Oh my God, I almost got murdered. I feel like it's on its way down here. I feel like this is the way to go. Glad I saw that zombie right at the last minute then. My God, it would have been bad. That's enough close calls for today, I think. Let's not have any more of them. Ah, uh, man. This axe is pretty damn good. I like it. I prefer it more than the other axes, to be honest. Sounds cool as well. Especially when you do that. Anybody behind me? No? Alright, okay. He's probably going to get tired really fast anyway, because he woke up at like 11 o'clock and then would not go back to sleep. So we read a book about fishing. Oh. We've got experience in fishing now. At least we can... Well, when we start actually fishing, we might uh, be able to sort out our weight issue because right now we're uh, quite underweight with 72 kilos. It needs to be sorted out. And I haven't got any fatty foods or anything. I really need something fatty like oil. I've eaten all the oil. I've eaten all the butter. There's not much left. I'm going to hack these up. There we go. I'm just. I'm not going to try and skip any zombies. I just don't want to be caught with them behind me. You know? I just want to take them out. I want to take the groups out as they come. So I've got an area that's absolutely clear. So when I come down here next time, I haven't got to worry about zombies sneaking up on me. If I need to get out of here quick, there's not going to be anyone around. So I'm going to take group out by group on this side of the road. He had a bag on his back, did he not? He did have a bag on his back. What is in that duffel? A pen. Nice. Well, I mean, if worst case scenario, we can always grab his tie and hang ourselves. A bloody pen. What am I going to do with that? Why have they got no food on them? Surely after these people have, like, food in their duffel bag. I know I would. Or, and toilet roll. 
This axe is a beast. It is literally slaughtering everything. I'll tell you what I could do with. I could do with a friggin' new gloves. I got bit by a zombie last time. Well, I didn't get bit. She bit my gloves. And uh, shredded me gloves because she's not very nice. I got jumped when I was trying to sleep, you see. Right, who are we going to go for? I feel like this group down here is probably going to lead to it, but we'll have to go through the trees. Much as I dislike going through the trees, I also dislike going through two groups of zombies. Right, coming in, guys. Let's have it. I don't. I can't quite remember. What's the the weight limit, you know? For like this dangerously underweight sort of thing, you know? I can't remember what it is. No. Big earrings. Stop trying to bite me. That's better. Start killing. Nice earrings. Come on. Everyone dead? Good. Everyone's dead. Right. Just put this knob behind me. Right. Uh, they got anything on them? Nothing. Right. Uh, how many people we killed? We've killed 3,000... 3,000? I can't read numbers for saving my life. 2,356 zombies we've murdered. Or destroyed. You don't really murder zombies, do you? You just destroy them. Which ain't bad. Oh, God, we're exhausted. Okay, well, we're going to need to have a little rest now. Take a seat. Just chill out a little bit. And then we'll continue killing. Maybe have something to eat. Right, as much as I really dislike going through trees, I still think it's a bit safer going through the trees than having to go and deal with the zombies that are on the higher street. Or on the main road up there. There's quite a lot of them. I really dislike the trees in this. I can't see a thing. They can sneak up on you. It's basically not very nice. The only experience I've had in trees have all been bad with zombies. Come on, love. There we go. That's it. Just lie down. Chill out. Stun and bathe. Oh, see? There's another one. Where did he come from? Behind a tree. No, just stay there. There we go. Good lad. Right, there's a little of a horde there. I believe some more down there. Right, we're at the building anyway, so we're going to have to go this way. Might be able to kill these zombies without getting murdered by anybody else. Let's have a little go. Come on. I'm trying to take it a little bit easier than normal, you know. I don't want to be going balls deep because, well... Zombies. Aha! I heard you. I heard that little growl. I'd hate to think what this game would be like trying to play it as death. Oh, that might be a challenge next time for whenever Dixon kicks the bucket. Blind and death playthrough. See how that goes. I mean, schizophrenia playthrough is working all right. So blind and death will be a uh, great test, wouldn't it? Right, let's murder these. Come on. Nice hat. You guys got matching hats. Oh, that's so sweet. Clearly got to be a couple of some sort. Matching hat, matching tracksuit. Right, come on. There we go. Oh, he's exhausted. Right, we'll take a seat. Chill out and wait. There's got to be more zombies over here, right? There's a few up there. And there's a few down there. Yeah, more zombie killing needed. Right, we'll sit and rest. Try to calculate what way's the best way to go. I feel like there's a lot of zombies down here, but there's also a crap ton of zombies over there as well. They're smaller groups, though. Maybe that way's the best way. I'm going to go over to the car park area. I feel like that might be the safer route. We're well, the lesser of two evils, at least. We need food. We're on a mission to get food. Come on, guys. There we go. The axe is a bit hit and miss sometimes. I was uh, I was one shot in them earlier. I had like four or five zombies, and I just one shot them. All right, just look, take out this last one there. Here we go. All right, I feel like if we take on this group over here, we might be all right just to try and gain access to this building. Looks like a factory. At least it better be a bloody factory. I thought me... Oh! Whoa! No! I'm just like I'm getting more zombies. Oh, she's not real. Now's not the time to have a fake zombie. Now is not the time to have a... This is what you got to look out for. Her, she, she ain't a real zombie. If I go and attack her, or if I go anywhere near her, he'll drop his weapon on the floor and scream. So, that's the first time it's happened to me, actual in combat. And I am so glad I spotted that. 
Oh, at least I think she's fake. See what I mean? It just more just really screws your head up. I'm pretty sure she's fake. She's got to be fake. Oh my god, there's even more zombies down there. She's fake. I'm just gonna stay away from her. I can't afford to. Uh, I can't afford to drop my weapon mid combat because that would suck. That is basically death sentence on my behalf. I can see. You. I know you're still there. I know you're just standing there. The fake zombies don't attack. Yeah, they just literally stand there. It would be great if they did like attack you but done no damage. If they done that, that would be amazing. Like absolutely amazing. Imagine that fake zombies that just randomly attack you. <laughs> right. I really need to get my uh, head back on to what I'm actually doing. So she's fake. I'm pretty sure that one's real. This one is definitely real. So he's going to get it. Hello, mate. Come on. There we go. I still can't think of any axe jokes. Like, let me ask you a question. And... There we go. There we go. Right. Nothing. Okay, keys? Anybody got keys? No? Yeah, one job. Keys. Right, I think we're all right, actually. We're all right. Gain access. It's open. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I don't really know what I'm doing now. Oh, let's have a little look around. Right, first room we went in, we got attacked. Bloody zombies in there. Close that. Uh, I don't really... This, I know this leads outside, but I don't really want to go outside. I don't want to... Uh, I don't I don't want to pull the zombies from outside. Oh, my days. Oh, my God, look at all that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we have hit the jackpot here, guys. We have hit the jackpot here. Look at all that gear. Oh. <gasps> And there's only one zombie in there. I'm getting in there. Let's murk this bird. Come here, love. There we go. Oh, we really did murk that bird. Holy crap. Like, one hit to the brain. Oh, there's another zombie down there. There's another two in that room. We'll leave them there. As long as we're quiet. Should be alright. Alright? I mean, theoretically, we should be fine, yeah? Oh, well, there's a few more in here. Right, we'll go and wipe out the zombies in this room, then we'll have a look at some of this goodies stuff. Uh oh, now we're in trouble. Yeah, we're in trouble. Our axe is breaking. We are drowsy. It's not going to... Uh oh, I knew it. It's gone. All right, let's get... Let's get a move on. Let's get our second weapon out. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. I will not die in this warehouse. I refuse to... Oh, my God. There's even more. No, I will not die. <sighs> Maybe a li little jog. Maybe a little run out here. No, get off. Oh. Damn it. Where did they all come from? So many. I knew I should have pulled that group. Right, I'm going to run back home. I'm going to have to run back home. Uh, Hopefully, I'll be safe. I run home. I'll sort myself out. I'll um, get my weapons all sorted. Eat, sleep, drink. Because he's drowsy. I can't be taking on the zombies when he's drowsy. Alright, made it back. We pulled a few zombies with us. Nothing too much. There's only uh, probably about 10, possibly 15 zombies down there. We can take them on. It's not a problem. Uh, I need to get some weapons though. Because I'm all out of axe. My axe broke. I'm going to keep it though because, well, I like that axe. It's really nice. Right, uh, we'll put this one, in, uh, we'll put that one on our back. That's a nice axe, no, uh, crowbar, whatever it's called. You know, long, big metal thing that rips doors off and all other bits and pieces. Crowbar. We can use that when we get back out there, but for now, we're just going to have to eat. Although he is drowsy. Oh, he's going to have to sleep as well. Oh, well, we got no choice. Oh. He can't be real. Oh, man, I've crapped myself. I'm walking around in this place like I'm completely safe. There's a friggin' zombie. She ain't real. She ain't real. She's not real. Whoa. Oh, that scared me a little bit. Oh, that absolutely... Uh, I've put my pack. My, my room is so dirty in here. Which, ooh, we've got an actual axe. Ah, oh, it's a wood-cutting axe. We'll keep that for when we actually need to cut down some trees. Right, where's our broken axe? We can repair that. We just need... 
uh, bits and pieces. Probably some duct tape. We'll have that on the floor down here because we can repair that. We'll keep that. Right, we need to eat. It's far too early for him to sleep. This is a ridiculous time for him to be tired. And I'm pretty sure we don't have any books left because I read them all. See what I could do, though. We'll chill out a little bit. We'll go and get the bin bags. Uh, and then, because I left the bin bags by the truck. And then uh, we'll build some rain catchers out here in this little forecourt area. Uh, right. See, that's what happens. Did he drop anything? No, he didn't drop anything. But now he's proper freaks out. Oh, well. Hey, it done out. Right. I'm going to get myself sorted. And we're going to get to an actual time where we could sleep properly instead of him waking up at 11 o'clock at night and then staying awake and being bloody tired throughout the majority of the day. Uh, that warehouse. That warehouse will be ours. I'm telling you now, guys. We're going to get it. It's just a horde of zombies in there. Probably about 20 of them. I reckon we can take them. Maybe. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm not just going to sit in base and wait. I'm going to I'm gonna actually uh, start stripping down some of these zombies. Some of these thousand zombies that are dead out here on the floor. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to take some time, but I've already found some leather gloves. Which is, to be honest, it's really nice. And I also might wear that police bulletproof vest. I feel like, obviously, I'm not wearing anything at the moment. Because... I took it off. And the other one I am wearing, or was going to wear, is actually a bit too heavy. Making him knackered. His attack speed is so much slower. Alright, I'm such an idiot. I just realised that you can actually take these fencing down with a pro propane torch and a uh, welding mask. I'm pretty sure there is a propane torch and a welding mask somewhere on this camp. I have seen it. I'm 100% sure there is one here. Pretty sure. Well, I mean, maybe 90%. I'm going to have a look. The only reason why we're going in that bloody warehouse is because we want sledgy. Well, after all that, turns out I can't even make a rain catcher. You need carpentry level 4. Our carpentry skill is level... Where is it? 3 and a bit. Or 3 and 3 quarters. We're almost there, but we haven't got anything left to dismantle. So, oh well. Time to chill, sleep, and get ready for what's to come in the morning. Well, looks like we've got a welcome party. Oh, we can't get out that way. Uh oh, looks like the welcome party's bloody in. I need to get them out of this area, though. There we go. Don't fancy fighting them in there. Out here, I don't mind, but in that area? No, it's a bit tight for me. Said no man ever. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was funny. Still funny. I still stand by what I said. It's terrible, I know, but it's still good. I'm still standing by it. Right. Murder. Down to the warehouse. Just want to get in the warehouse. We can loot it tomorrow. I just want to get in there. Fight my way to it now. I let half the zombies up here. Oh, well. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. Well, it looks like I got more than that group of zombies that I let up here. Oh, God. Well, I mean... On the plus side, they're up here. On the bad side, I don't... I can't just get out my base. I've got to murder a load of people before I get down there. But it's good. At least we're closer for when we need to rest. I will get that warehouse. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to get in there. I mean, I was in there. I saw a little glimpse at the good stuff. And then I got, got evicted by some zombies. It's almost like going into like a child going into a sweet shop. And it be like, you can have any sweet you like. Actually, no, you can't get out. Bloody scum. Bloody scum zombies. We'll have them. Come on. Don't walk away from me when I'm wanting to kill you. Come get some. There we go. There we go. No, where are you going? There we go. Well, you're a bit blinded by that bandana on your head. Yeah. Let's just... There we go. I can't tell if she's wearing glasses or that's her cold dead eyes. Probably her cold dead eyes, to be fair. Man, my short blunt skills must be really bloody good. Look at this! Ah. Um, back too soon. What is this short blunt skills at? Let's have a little look. Short blunt skills. Short blunt... Oh, four. I mean, not really good, but... Better than nothing. He's doing, he's doing well. Man, there's still zombies walking out of the area. They're still migrating from the warehouse. I think they're still after where I went. I don't know why. It's been a whole day. A whole night. Like, 
Get over it, guys. Come on. I'm not that tasty. Actually, I taste disgusting. You don't want to eat me. Give you diarrhea. You'll be all your time on the toilet, just walking around, crapping yourself. Not that a zombie cares. They're dead anyway. They smell a crap as it is, don't they, really? There we go. There we go. Come on. Sorry, love. Come on. Just, just. There we go, Pickle. We'll have some of that. Ah, just give them lovely, cute nicknames. Little Pickle. Hello, Rabbit. How's it going? Donkey? Is that, I don't even know. Is that, a, is that a cute nickname? Donkey? Probably not. Kind of insulting. Calling someone Donkey, you're technically calling them an ass, right? Oh my days, there's even more. Oh no, we didn't go that way, did we? We came this way. Ah, that's why. We went through the trees. Alright, well, I'm going to murder some more. Can't seem to get through them. It's just too many of them. They just keep coming. Relentless. I killed all these before. Now I've got to kill them all again. I don't understand. Just so many of my characters knackered already. Alright, take a seat, mate. Take a seat. It's just there. I was in it. I saw it. I could smell the loot. I could taste it. Now I had to run away. I'm coming back again. I'm probably going to have to run away again. I just want to get in the warehouse. I just want a hammer or a propane torch so I can get through that fence and fish. Then I'll need a fishing rod and some tackle. It's not going so well, is it? It's my plan's not working so well. Right, we're through. Oh, no, we're not. God damn it. Leave me alone. As much as I love murdering zombies, and we all know that, because I've killed about 3,000 of you scum. It's not even half the population of West Point, but, you know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh, right, I feel like we're through. There's some more down there. I feel like maybe I'm going to have a little check out of this area here. Oh, my days, there's even more. All right, let's check this place. Of course, it would be locked. <laughs> ah, all right, all right, murder these. And then we're in. Our crowbar is going to break. It's probably going to break mid-fight. Uh, I don't really want to get it to the stage where it breaks, so I'm going to lob it on the floor and put my other one on. Right, brand spanking new crowbar. And as they're just down there milling around, I feel like we'll wait here for a little bit, have a little seat, rest. We'll get up, we'll murder some zombies, and we'll deal with the bear. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, I'm just resting. I just want to chill. Get off. We <laughs> damaged my crowbar with your steel head. Right. Right, screw this. I'm going for it. Come on. That's right. I just murdered your friend. What are you going to do about it, eh? Punk. Huh? That's right. Have some of that in the chin. In the face. Want some? Ginger bearded, long haired, glorious hair guy. Jealous again because I'm running out of hair. You know how it is. It vanishes. Vanishes, just, just drops out your head. Right, come on. That's enough talk about hair. Murdered. Murdered. Let's go in. Can't be any zombies in there, surely. They would have all followed me out. Right? Okay, well, not all of them. Apparently, they decided to go back in and smash. Where the hell are these lot come from? Guys, I just want to take over the warehouse. What are you doing? Where did you come from? Get out of my warehouse! Just... Oh, just want to check to see what's in here. Look at them all. There's seven of them. Oh, inconvenient scum. Oh! That was a stupid move. I almost got pulled down then. All three of them grabbed me. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. It sounds like there's an awful lot of zombies coming back through this area. I'll just backpedal. Hopefully no one comes in behind me. If they do, I'm done. Nailed it. What we got? One. All that banging and only one got through. Seriously? Come on. Just stay out of this. This has nothing to do with you. It's just between me and the loot. You lot weren't invited into this massive... What are you wearing? You got leather gloves. I might take them. Considering leather gloves seem to be an issue for me lately. I don't know why. Come on. Oh, my days. I'm tired. I'm tired of killing zombies. I need to retire. 
Oh, oh, now we find the key for the warehouse. Now that we've like, you know, destroyed our way in, smashed our way in at the place. He had perfect leather gloves. I'll take them. They're going in the bag. Once I can figure it out, I'll line it up to the actual bag. Right. Not that I need to, but I'm going to shut the door. Probably a big mistake. We're in. <laughs> We're in, guys. What's through here? Sink and a back door. What's in that sink? Probably going to be a bit stupid, but we'll have a little look. Ripped sheets, dirty rags, light bulbs, saw. We'll have a, we'll have a victory drink. There's the victory drink. That's what we were after. Right. We got loot, guys. We got loot. What have we got? Propane torch. Hell yes. That is going in. What do I need? Welding rods? What did it... I don't even know what I need. Metal bars, wires. Oh, nothing. Box of nails, glue. Large bolt. Okay. Well, more welding rods. Sheet metal. Or nails. I think I'm going in reverse. Oh, I thought that was a sledgy. It's not. Oh, man. This place is epic. Look at all this. We can start guarding up and everything now. Oh, yeah. Cordless drill, hammer, leak, rake. Man, this is good. That's just what I can see. I don't even know what's behind these. Like, another propane torch. Could do with, like, some sort of welding mask, though, to be fair. Seeds, bag of concrete powder, trowel, hand axe, potato seeds, sandbags. Oh man, this is good. This is good. There's so much gear here. So much gear. Yeah, so much gear. Another crowbar. Oh, we've got weapons and stuff and tools for days now, guys. Tools for days. We were victorious over the large warehouse. This is amazing. Oh, look at all this. There's got to be a sledgehammer in here. I refuse to believe that there isn't a sledgehammer in here. Like, I'm going to stop looking for it. I'm going to head upstairs. Oh, we're safe before I do the outro. and Outro? Before I say goodbye. Not really an outro, is it? It's just me saying, all right, see you guys later sort of thing, isn't it? Right, what have we got? A paintbrush, bags of powder. Oh, yeah, a bag of powder. What powder is that, then? Look at this. Just so many tools. Oh, so much stuff. Oh, man, this is good. This is good. We've got weapons and... Not weapons, but yeah, we've got weapons. We've got tools and gear for days now. Gear for days. We can last quite some time with all this stuff. Still no sledge. Still no sledge. But, I mean, there's tons of boxes we haven't checked. What's up here, then? Oh, the roof. Well, let's not go out on the roof. I'll tell you what, though. In here seems to be a good place to do it. So that's it, guys. I'm going to leave this one here. We fought our way down to the warehouse. Oh, a fight indeed it bloody was. We had a retreat, and then we came back, and we were victorious. A victory over the warehouse. Zombies couldn't even stop us. We've killed a lot of zombies. We're on 2,442 now. I can't remember what I said when I started, but, you know, we killed probably, what, 30 zombies, 40 zombies, probably 100 zombies, something like that. We're losing weight real bad. We need to get that up. ASAP, really, don't we? I'm going to eat all the food I've got on me, I reckon. I've still got food on me, but it's nothing like canned corn. It's not fatty, is it? I need proper fatty food. We can skirt, search this place. There might be some food in here somewhere. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to leave this one here. So thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, then subscribe. If, you wanna, if, if you're interested in the schizophrenia... Uh, mod and you want to play it link is in the description feel free click it download it have a go it's not my mod but the mod is amazing and i'm really enjoying it there's not really had many schizophrenia breakouts at the moment it's just every now and then it is what it is um if you've got discord i've got a discord channel it link is in the description again it's a nice little small community that we've got going on there just a little place to hang out chat about things you've got social media channels you put your stuff in there you've got I don't know, correct, correct, content creator channels, lob up your content creators there. We'll have a little look and see what's going on. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you see you then. Thanks for coming, guys. See you next one. Bye.